Hello everyone! Thank you for joining. My name is Alexander, I am an open source enthusiast and Apache Ignite contributor. Today I'm going to show our updated Apache Ignite 3 command line interface. You might be already familiar with this tool, but in the Alpha 5 version we enhanced it with a number of new features. First, we added the new interactive mode or REPL. It provides you with a smooth way to set things up and interact with Ignite 3 cluster with a non-interrupted continuous fashion. You can get immediate feedback from the terminal and stay focused. But REPL is not the only innovation I'd like to show. As you know, Apache Ignite can be used as a traditional SQL database by leveraging JDBC or ODBC drivers. In Alpha 5 we introduced one more approach that can help you to write SQL queries. It's an embedded SQL interpretation. You can write queries right from your terminal. Also, a fancy command line interface makes you enjoy the terminal experience by providing bash and SQL autocompletion. Let's see it in action. I'd like to start with ignite help command. We can see all the comments. With ignite SQL command, you can execute any SQL query and get the result right to your terminal. Ignite status will display the current status of the cluster, the number of nodes and the state of the cluster. Ignite CLI config get and set commands will let you configure the CLI defaults for parameters like cluster URL or JDBC URL. Ignite Bootstrap will install all necessary artifacts and create directories that are required to run the cluster. Ignite node has a set of subcommands. Class pass will display the node class pass. Config lets you operate with the node configuration. You can show it and update it. List command is going to print all nodes that are currently running on your local machine. And ignite node start and stop comments will start and stop the ignite free node. Ignite cluster command also has a config subcommand that has exactly the same interface as node config. You can show and update cluster configuration. And ignite cluster init command will initialize the ignite cluster. After this command is executed, you will be able to work with the cluster. Let's run the Ignite Bootstrap to install everything needed for running the cluster. Alright, now we can start the node, but before running the Ignite node start command I'd like to enter the interactive mode, just to have a more advanced experience. Cool, it says I'm disconnected and that's ok. I'm going to start my first Ignite node by running node start. I'd like to name it node 1. Looks like it has started, but what is the demo about the distributed system with a single node? Let's start two more. node 2 and node 3. Fine, now I can connect to any node and check the status. Connect. The status is not initialized. We need to run cluster init. Cluster init requires cluster name my cluster and a list of meta storage nodes node 1 meta storage it is a distributed storage that is required for cluster status brilliant now the cluster has three nodes and its status is active it seems like i can work with it in the previous keynote alexander showed us a pluggable storage Let's figure out how it is working in action. First, we need to add regions to storage engine. But where to find it? Cluster config show will help us. I can read the whole cluster config. 
but it seems quite messy for my terminal, right? Let's use the selector option and show the part of the configuration that we are interested in. It's RocksDB regions. And page memory regions. Fine, we have to add regions for both storages with cluster config update. Cool, and one more configuration. Good, now our storages are ready to be used. I'd like to create one table with B3 based storage and another one with LSM storage. I don't need any other third party tool for that. Ignite 3 CLI already gives me an option to run SQL queries right from my terminal. Just type SQL. This SQL mode has an auto completion, so I don't even need to type the whole keyword. Tables are created, so let's populate some data into them. And let's select some data. Cool, now I can exit the SQL REPL with the built-in exit command. I'd like to show you that tables were created with different storages. Cluster config show will help us.
So accounts was created with RocksDB storage and cities was created with B3 storage. But this fact won't stop us from working with tables just like they are in one storage. I'm going to select the data from both of them using join. All right. Besides the cluster configuration, we can work with node configuration. Just like we did it before with cluster one. What is the node configuration and how does it differ from cluster configuration? Well, the node configuration is the configuration that is not shared among all nodes. It's just a local configuration. For example, REST. Let's stop all running nodes. Node stop node 1, node 2, and node 3. Alright, I'd like to drop by here and let you explore the rest of the Ignite 3 command line tool by yourself. Just follow the Ignite 3 Alpha 5 documentation. Thank you, stay cool, bye.